Hello everybody, my name is Jonathan and welcome to The Lynn Life. In this video, I want to review again the Bug Assault 3.0 that I did a year ago, a video on this a year ago, and we had a lot of views and a lot of comments and I don't believe I have was able to respond to all the comments, so I'm going to do that now, or at least a, a majority of the comments, and I want to talk about what I think about this one year later. Do I still like it? So let's get going. My name is Jonathan, and I'm a caregiver for my wife, Lynn, who has a permanent brain injury. Things are a bit different now, but we're doing the best that we can. Join us as we experience the Lynn Life. All right, it's been one year later, and the Bug Assault 3.0 version is still doing very well, as well as it did initially when I first bought it. Um, it's not broken, it still shoots just as well as it always did, and uh, we're, now it's back into the uh, spring and summer months, and we're using it again. And I th still think it's an excellent tool. You know, it's obviously a novelty item, but you don't have to have it, but it's a lot of fun, and it definitely uh, can do some things that a fly swatter cannot. And I'll explain a little bit of that later. Um, but right now, one of the things I wanted to do is I, we had a lot of views on this, uh, on this video and a lot of comments and I got some comments right here and I wanted to go through some of them because it's difficult for me to answer every one of them there have just been way too many of them so like uh, Jorge Teso says uh, thanks for the review I just ordered two of them from their actual website and got a discount for being a veteran as well and thank you for your service um, also great video in general stay strong brother and hope nothing but the best for you and your wife. Well, thank you very much, Jorge. Uh, Mr. E says, this is a very useful tool, way better than a fly swatter, and that's for sure. I own the first generation Bug Assault, along with the newest versions, and uh, including the first gen, and are still going strong. Well, ours is still going strong too, and it is much better than a fly swatter. Um, for an example, when a fly or a bug gets in like a little corner and it's difficult to uh, get at it with a fly swatter, I've had that uh, happen recently in fact, um, this does the job and uh, so you can get at it. Um, Victor Ramos Jr. says, well put together video and it's an awesome fly killing machine. Uh, he says, but it's built to fail. I've had my 2.0 and it still works. My 3.0 took a crap way before and um, way before and it's a design flaw. I contacted Bug Assault and told them about the design flaw um, from their strong spring mounted plastic connecting rod and it goes on. It's pretty long uh, comment. So I'm sorry to hear about that. Ours is still working well. Um, let's see. John Spann says, we've had one for a few years now. The first thing I learned was not to shoot myself in the foot with it. Yeah, well, that's, that's a good point. Don't shoot yourself. Be careful. This is uh, and especially kids. Don't let kids play with this. They could easily shoot themselves in the eye or something like that. I mean, it's pretty safe at a distance. It's not going to hurt you too badly. Um, but uh, just like anything, whether it's a BB gun, air rifle, or a real gun, um, you got to be careful. So, uh, let's see... Oh, here's one, uh, Barnstormer. Uh, I've been looking at these for a while. Currently here in the UK, the 3.0 version is priced at $49.99, um, which according to Google converts to $69.20. Uh, 
uh, in US dollars. I believe this is there's shipping on top of that too which makes this rather expensive and that's true. Uh, that makes sense. It's probably I don't know how much these are. Can anybody tell me how much these are going for right now? Um, I didn't look into that. Um, the price that I mentioned in the last video uh, that I did last year was last year's prices but you know as you know prices are going up everywhere for everything. Um, Let's see, who else we got? Frank Moss says, I got mine for Father's Day. I love it. Bless you, sir, for your love and caring. I'm also caring for a lady with a brain issue. My wife has an inoperable tumor. She is currently receiving radiation treatment. Sorry to hear about that, Frank. And yes, there's this one thing about this... Uh, this vlog since I've been doing it I have connected qu with quite a few people that are a lot like me you know and that was one of the reasons I started it was sort of connect with people um, uh, let's see Becky 22 can I just say um, you're, an am you're an amazing man yeah thank you Becky Hope your wife is as well as possible. That chokes me up when I get these uh, sort of complimentary uh, comments, and, and they come fairly often. Um, let's see. We'll name. It. We'll, we'll we'll go through a couple others. Um, Mike S says, "My mar your marksmanship is excellent." Well, thank you. <laughs> There's so many comments. Uh, Sean Tyson says, nice video and review. I wonder if you can use kosher salt or will it jam up the chamber? And I would say yes. Um, I have had uh, several comments about it. Can you load this with other stuff? Uh, in, in his case, kosher salt. Um, someone said sugar. Someone said uh, other types of stuff. But this is meant for table salt. I'd stick with that. Um, I think anything else might just jam it up. So use what the manufacturer suggests. Um, yeah, like this person says, let's see, gone cray. Uh, could we think outside the box and use Epsom salt for ammo? Outside it would, f would feed the garden magnesium and kill bugs instead of poison table salt. You're welcome. I think that it might jam it up, you know. Your point, you know, Epsom salt, yeah, uh, that might. You could try it. It's up to you, you know. If it if it was as fine a grain as your table salt, maybe it would work. Um, it doesn't shoot a lot of salt. That's something that comes up a lot. Someone uh, asked about that. Uh, does it like if you use it indoors? Does it? Uh, uh, you end up with salt everywhere and you really don't. It uses a minimal amount of salt when it shoots it. Um, and I've mentioned in the last video, I'll mention it again, it's meant for flies, um, some, some crawling insects. It doesn't work too good on larger, uh, tougher insects like a hornet or a wasp. Uh, hornets have armor and uh, I've recently tried it on one of those and uh, it doesn't it doesn't kill them it may damage their wings and if they fall to the ground and you could step on them I've done that um, it works phenomenal on the uh, the common house fly it works really really good on them. mosquitoes and other things as well but uh, now they do have another you know, the same manufacturer makes another one which is CO2 powered and it's like actually looks like a pistol and um, that I guess would take out a hornet and uh, they mentioned uh, some other some other bugs as well scorpions I think was another thing they mentioned so you might want to go that route when I was I was looking into one of those uh, last year and uh, they weren't they were uh, I think they were out of stock and that might be the, still be the case um, but you could look into that and I think they were at that time at least a hundred dollars too they're kind of pricey 
and uh, of course they're CO2 powered and you, so you had to keep replacing that and the little cartridges it was like a little six shooter and you had to uh, uh, buy more of those cartridges that were already filled with the salt or some people said uh, were on YouTube anyways they're showing how you could refill them yourself but uh, I may still look into that that, that kind of interests me but for right now this thing works phenomenal now if you are watching this and you haven't uh, watched the video I did last year I put a link down below so make sure you watch that as well um, I want to go over a couple other comments uh, um, Ricky Rich says just killed a giant wolf spider last night you need a follow-up shot with the bigger bugs first shot jacked him up and it was stunned and then I got him with the kill uh, so fun and that is true and I've mentioned that before I mentioned in the other video that if you're going to kill something larger especially a hornet or a wasp it may only stun them so be careful they may come after you but you can knock them down and then step on them um, let's see Nigel Karen says furthermore if you shoot it over your left shoulder it will bring you luck huh did that work? There it goes. Hopefully I'll get some luck out of that. Um, <laughs> Roy Cook, it's an it's a salt gun. Can you own it in California where most of the flies come from? I have no idea. Uh, let's see. Respect to you, bro, from St. Ball. Um, let's see. Sandy Elliott, do you think it could kill carpenter bees? Sorry about your wife. Kudos for sticking by her. Well, thank you very much, Sandy. And it may kill carpenter bees. Um, when it comes to bees in general, I want to say uh, honeybees, bumblebees, butterflies, anything like that are tremendous pollinators. So anything that pollinates, don't shoot those suckers. Leave them around. I, I've noticed quite a few honeybees around here lately, and I'm happy to see it. And they got free reign. They, I let them go uh, because that's, they're very important. And uh, bubble, bumblebees as well. i got quite a few bumblebees around. Um, I paid $45 for mine and I love it from Cesar Diaz. Uh, Teddy says this channel needs more attention. I'm not sure what that means, but I hope it's a compliment. Thank you very much. Um, let's see. I have four of these, says David Teague. Uh, two 2.0s and two 3.0s. They're great. Yes, I think they are. Uh, let's see. No screw in chokes is Shadow. Shadow Dog 500? No. What he's referring to is a shotgun uh, where they have screw in chokes, that improved cylinder, full choke, etc. But no. It, it is a shotgun in a sense. It's a uh, salt shotgun. Exactly what it is. Uh, will sugar work for larger bugs? I do not recommend putting sugar or anything but table salt in this gun. You're welcome to experiment all you want and I'm not the manufacturer. That's what's funny is when I do uh, reviews on things people will uh, leave comments as if I'm the manufacturer or I'm the expert. I'm not. I'm just a consumer just like you and uh, I did not get paid at all to do this review and uh, I, I only do reviews on things that I actually purchase for myself and that I find interesting or useful. Um, I hope kids don't start shooting salt into people's eyes. Mr. Sea Dog. And that is a very good concern. So I would, this is not for kids, not for little kids. It's not, it is a novelty. It's kind of an adult toy, um, although it is very useful. Um, but uh, it's not for little kids. Uh, some good vid. Um, let's see. So 
Someone said too expensive. They are expensive. Um, so there's a lot and a lot of I obviously can't. I don't want to bore you with all these comments. But there's a lot, and I wanted to address some of them. Um, but this is a good product. I showed on my last video uh, the spread I used uh, by using tinfoil. Showing some of that for you right now. It's a. Uh, it is basically a salt shotgun, and uh, it works very well. So one year later, it's still working very very well. And I imagine it will continue using this all the way through the summer. I wouldn't be surprised at some point something breaks in it. It is plastic. Um, and there's a, you know, there's a, when you pump it, you know, it's got a lot of, you know, it's a pretty heavy spring. So it could, could potentially break or something could break in there. So, you know, I'll shoot it right now. And um, ooh, as, as soon as I did that, a fly went over my head. I think he's just toying with me. But I highly recommend this. So if uh, leave some comments if you have some other. I love getting comments. Okay, that was something else I wanted to mention. I love getting comments. Otherwise, I don't know who's watching these videos. So even if you just want to say hi, that's fine. So watch some of our other videos too. We've got all kind. We put a new video up every week, and uh, generally every Sunday. That's the day that the new videos go up. And I love to hear from you. I think that's about it. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. And we'll see you next time on the Lindley.